All right, and good morning, good evening, good night, all that goodness to uh, all of you ladies and gentlemen and whatnot out there. Welcome back to episode two of Let's Play Ogre Battle in 2024. Uh, so what I just did off screen a little bit is I went and picked up some new characters. So one of the things you can do in this game is uh, if you go to a town and you have it, your leader here who has uh, empty spots, you can recruit a new um, a new character. And different um, different class types can recruit different types of, um, of characters. But right now, we'll see we got um, Simmons here. He's level 3. He's pretty high alignment. He's already got 61 alignment. Um, every character that you get will be two levels lower than your leader. So this is super handy because these guys, they're level one. Lowest level you can be. Um, most of the characters that we uh, we get start out at at least level two. So this is the only way that you can actually get level one characters. Um, so I went ahead and, and got a couple uh, level one characters. I actually might get a few more. I mean, they're only 100 gold. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to return to the map. Now, the issue with those guys is that um, what I really want to do is... So, look at all this. Look at all these characters that we have. Um, I went ahead and took them all out of their starting formations, because a lot of those are really bad. But look at this. Look at all these characters. This is crazy. We got all these different characters and, and you know, what what do we do with all this? What What is even happening? So, what I want to do is, like I said, we want to have lower alignment units. Um, so we're not going to be needing most of these characters. Um, really, we are going to want to take a bunch of these and just use, um, just use them until you know, until they, um, until they get higher level than the enemies that we're fighting. Um, and we want them to overall lose alignment so that we can turn them into the, cl the classes that we want, like the, um, the berserker, the ninja, um, the wizard, the sorcerer, all that good stuff. Um, now, our, our female units, there aren't really any female units that require low alignment. Uh, there's there's the witch, but, you know, uh, witches are, are really hit or miss in this game. So, our female units will be getting high alignment, definitely. And uh, we might get a few male units with high alignment. You know, we might uh, get some paladins and, and whatnot. Um, I do want to have a flying unit with high alignment, uh, just for the purposes of recruiting... Um, or not recruiting, but um, liberating towns. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna have this guy. And you know what? I'm just going to put this guy back here. We're just going to have... Um, we're just going to have a a group of a samurai and a bunch of fighters. Actually, no, let's, let's not do that. Let's, um, let's take him out and let's put an Amazon in there. Okay, so we're only going to need a few units. We're not going to need too many. Um, and I'm not really super concerned about using the beast units right now. Uh, we will need those in the future, but for, for right now, uh, not so much. Okay, so I don't really want to use lawns right now. Um, you do get some special dialogue if you use them in the, the next fight against um, the fight with Usar. But... I don't know, okay, let's see. These guys... Actually, let's see. What do we have? Okay, yeah, I'm actually going to delete these two knights right here. Um, Edmund and uh, Q. 
cube. Don't really care about those two. We don't really need them. Okay. So we're not going to use Warren yet, uh, because he will get super low alignment really quick. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, Warren is crazy. He is a madman, and he will kill you. Okay, so I want these wizards in the back row. Um, we are just going to make... We're just going to make a back row with three wizards. And then we're going to put a griffin in the front. And then we are going to equip that griffin with the demon hammer. So that griffin is going to be one bad mamma jamma. He is not going to be messing around. Do not mess with him. Let's see. And I think... See, what's another good way to go here? Um, see, that's three units. Do we really need more than that? Maybe I'll add one more. Um, I'm not going to use the clerics yet. I want to save them for uh, program forest. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, let's put him over here in the back. Um, and I really want to use most of these fighters. Uh, because the, the Amazons, I want them to be low level so that they can gain more alignment later. Uh, the fighters, I want them to be higher level so that they do not gain alignment You know, I'm actually going to... I'm going to do that one more time. Uh, what do we got here? We got a wizard, Sammy... Okay. Yeah, let's put Sammy in here. And then let's just give Sammy some more fighters. Um, and let's... Let's just kind of do that. Let's just make some fighter units. Actually, I, I don't need to make any more. Um, those are fine. Um... Okay, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to equip my Lord with the... Uh, do I want to equip the Lord or the Octopus? Okay, so the Lord's level 1, um, her alignment is going to need to drop later. Um, I'm not really concerned about that because there's an easy way to do that. But I think I'm going to put the Fire Staff on this Octopus. So, an octopus walking around with a fire staff. Okay, I don't suppose... Okay, can anybody change? Not really. Uh, we could change some of the classes of those, um, uh, those starting leaders that we start out with, but some of them will only be able to change into, like, fighters or Amazons, and they won't be able to change back. So, we're not going to mess around with that too much. We are just going to go straight to the Sharom border. Alright, so again, if I did take Lons into this fight and had him fight Usar, they would get some special dialogue. Um, but I'm not really concerned about it. I've, uh, you know, I've played this game quite, quite a bit, um, and I am, I'm not super, super concerned. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy. Who are we deploying? Okay, so I want to put Musashi, Brave Fencer Musashi, over here. Um, I want to take my Lord and go out into the deep sea, because my Lord has an octopus. And let's 
let's go ahead and just uh, send these guys up here. Um, for the moment, I do kind of want to have a high reputation. So I'm not interested in tanking my reputation just yet. Um, although I will in the future. Okay, fortune. Three meters down. All right. We will keep that card. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy some items. We don't have a lot of money yet. Um, and it's going to be kind of tough for us to get money initially. So we're not going to buy too much. Okay, we're going to get some cure potions. We're going to get a few ethereal flutes. Maybe just like three. Uh, we will be using Roche and Temples right now because they are infinitely cheaper in the beginning and infinitely more expensive in the late game. So there becomes a point in this game where you're just going to start um, using ethereal flutes. But that point is not right now. Okay, let's go ahead and go over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get Musashi to go over here. The goal is to maybe take out the leaders and then have um, our Lord and Musashi just kind of go around back. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this on um, strong. So the combat system of this game is something that a lot of people um, initially play and they don't like because you can't directly control your characters. Well, you you can, but um, you have to know what you're doing. So if you press the um, well, whatever button it is that uh, that you're pressing on whatever controller you have, um, you can go over here to battle commands. So if you click strong, your units get a little bit of a uh, defensive boost, and you attack the unit with the highest HP. Um, if you have a cleric and you're fighting undead, this will cause them not to attack the undead. So you have to. Um, you know, decide whether that's something that you, you want. Um, leader, this will cause your units to attack the other unit leader if they can. Um, weak, you will attack the unit with the least amount of hit points, and I think you get a defensive penalty as well. And best is you'll just do the best you can to do as much damage as possible. And I think this is what the enemy usually um, has, has going on. So when you use these, you can select which units to target. Um, but again, there's a little bit of a, a learning curve. So as you saw there, the uh, fight went for two rounds and then it ended. Okay, we will just allow this guy to attack our lord, because that looks like that's what he's doing. So there's some stuff you can get on this um, on this map, like the Star of Heroes and um, a Gnomish Nugget and some other stuff like that. Uh, the Gnomish Nugget I'd like to get, but the Star of Heroes I do not care about since um, I am not going for a high alignment uh, playthrough. Um, I'm not... I'm probably not going to be getting most of the good characters. I might try to get like one or two um, by manipulating my alignment and, um, and reputation, but probably not really. I mean, for the most part, I'm probably just going to focus strictly on Deneb and Galf. Um, I'll get I'll get Gilbert and Canopus, obviously. I'll get um, Aish and Lion. But uh, any of the ones that require, you know, really high alignment or reputation to get, I, I probably just won't even bother with. Fight it out. OK, 
Okay. So wizards in this game have basically the best potential of, of any class, really. Um, if you can get an undead staff and an undead undead ring, you can turn them into a lich. And you will just have... And you will... Uh, the game's on easy mode at that point. If you have a group with a princess and two liches in it, you basically just win the game. You know, it's, it's over at that point. Uh, there's nothing in the game that can come anywhere near what you're doing. Um, the flip side to that is that Dream Crowns, which allow you to create princesses, um, and Undead Staffs and Undead Rings are generally pretty hard to get. Um, staffs, less so, uh, because there are some ways that you can um, you can get Undead Staffs in the game, uh, but Rings, much less so. Now, if I do get this character, Galf, uh, that I want to get, uh, he's a demon, and if I get him, then I can go back to this one town and they'll give me an undead ring. So if I do this correctly, um, I will be able to make a lich no matter what. And if I do it inc incorrectly, I won't. So you'll notice um, most of these characters aren't doing a lot of damage on the water, but the octopus is. because he's a water unit, and that's his whole thing. That's what he does. And let's see, let me... Yeah, I'll go ahead and use a Cure Stone. Or a Cure Potion. Just so my lord doesn't die. You know, it might have been a good idea to put um, two octopi in this unit. Just the lord and two octopi. Uh, we're going to go with weak, because we really want that um, that hellhound to, to just get out of town. Alright, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, um, it looks like we're actually going to have to retreat, because if that mage hits us one more time, our lord will die, and if our lord dies, then it's game over. So we have to actually retreat. Then I gotta go over here and use another cure potion on Lord Greasy, or Lady Greasy. Alright, let's get back over here. This one might be a little bit tough. So again, the goal here is to have these characters. They're, they're super low level now. Um, they will gain some alignment and some charisma in, initially, which is good, uh, because they will need high charisma moving forward. They will just need low to moderate alignment. Uh, because really, I don't want to be having a lot of samurai and paladins and stuff like that in this army. I want to have berserkers, I want to have ninjas, I want to have you know, wizards. Um, really just all, all the low alignment stuff. So in order to get to the point where we can have low alignment units, we have to first get them some alignment in order to lose it. It's, uh, it's weird. And again, there are ways that you can uh, manipulate this stuff. Um, killing level 1 pumpkin heads in Deneb's Garden is one way to lower alignment. The issue with that is that it also lowers charisma. And that's one of the big um, focal points of this game, is if you do want low alignment, you usually also want high charisma. So it, it can be difficult to um, reconcile those two.
Alright, got some level ups. No problemo. We're gonna go ahead and use another cure potion. And you might be saying, hey, why are you uh, using all these cure potions? You're using all your money. Yeah, I mean, right now we don't have that much money, but in the future we will. Uh, we are not going to be having a whole lot of money problems in this game um, until, well, at, once we um, once we kind of get the ball rolling, we're we're going to be doing fine on money. Okay, I'm I'm thinking I might need to move my lord to the back row because this is some uh, this is some shenanigans right here. I think I do like the um, the female sprite more than the the male sprite. It's just a, a more interesting um, sprite. Right, so the I don't remember the female lord's canonical name. I know that the male lord uh, is Destin Faroda, and he's kind of the the canonical uh, lord. Uh, so like if you play Ogre Battle sixty four, he's the one that shows up. Um, I don't remember the female lord's name, so I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to look that up. Her uh, canonical name, anyway. Okay, there's um, I remember there being a town or a treasure around here somewhere. Okay, there's the town. So I'm probably not going to um, go ahead and get the treasures now, but I will come back and uh, get them after I finish this um, uh, this map. I may get them now. I'm not really sure. Um, it depends on if I'm going to do the Gnomish Nugget, which I think I will. Um, getting the Gnomish Nugget is a good way to get a bunch of money early on, which will really help us out where we're at right now, so I, I might do that. I might stick around this map for a couple days and just kind of um, just kind of farm a little bit. I was thinking I might go try to get a Hawkman, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because like Canopus, when you get him, he comes with like I want to say you know three or four Hawkmen, and that's all you're you're ever gonna need. You don't need more than that. Soul mirror, okay. Soul mirror, that's nice. Raises your alignment. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, let's um Yeah, let's head over this way. Fight it out. Cool, cool. All right, let's send these guys uh, kind of back over here so that they can heal up a little bit. All right, we got plenty more on the way. Plenty more on the way. Okay, they are healed up, so let's get back in the water. Ooh, okay, so they want to attack that guy. That is not what I want them to do. So I'm going to go over here, 
so that they kind of get back on track. So for this map, we really want to be taking most of the fights with um, with this unit, Sammy's unit. Uh, we want him to get all the experience that he possibly can, so that he can be a few levels higher than um, than any of the other units that we're facing at all times. So that preferably they lose as much alignment as possible while not losing that much charisma. So again, it's it's tough to um, to have low alignment units this early in the game uh, because you're so low level that anything that you fight is going to be higher level than you. And in the case of that hellhound that we just killed, it's low alignment anyway. So you uh, you actually get a a bigger bonus for killing it because it has low alignment. So they'll be gaining some alignment. We'll just have to uh, lose it in the future. And that's how you do that. Okay, let's um, send him down here a little bit. I seem to remember that there was a treasure around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh, all right. That's a nice one, this early in the game. So you can find um, a lot of equipment this way, but it's not just equipment. You can also find things like dream crowns, undead rings, undead staffs. All the stuff that you uh, need. Stones of Dragos, if you, uh, if you are insane enough to uh, try to go for a Dragon Master. Dragon Masters in, in this game are just, they're, they're just ridiculous. Um, trying to keep your charisma in alignment in the absolute center of the board for the entire game so that you can, you can have a, uh, a Dragon Master. I have managed to do it before, but uh, it is not easy. Not easy at all. Really, I think um, one of the main ways to do it is to get so get a dragon tamer, and then get their charisma and alignment where you want it, and then just put them like in a group that's going to go undead hunting, and just you know have them stay there and soak up the experience, but not actually be able to get any kills. Okay, so we got a little bit of money. Not terrible. Alright, I'm just gonna stay back here because we we gotta we gotta focus up here. Oh, neutral character? Okay. What neutral character do we find? Okay. Yeah, I, I do not care about this uh, golem. Really? The griff? Oh yeah, because the griffin's got the uh, the magic um, uh, sword. So usually griffins would not do very much damage at all against golems. But since I've got that magic sword, it cuts right through the uh, defense. Are you, are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? You guys are crazy. Alright, let's just uh, keep it going. Keep on trying to get these guys the uh, levels that they so desperately need. So, you know, I, I said that um, I wasn't going to be doing alignment manipulation, and I'm not, but if you did want to get uh, super low alignment units early on, one way that you could do that is by farming random encounters. Um, you could just, I, I think they're like level 2 or 3 on this map, they're not very high level at all. So you could just go around and um, fight, you know, low level encounters here until you level up and then you just kind of keep on going like that. Um, I'm not going to do that because it's too time consuming. And honestly, there is no reason to grind or um, or have to do anything like that in this game. There is There are plenty of encounters, plenty of enemies, uh, plenty of, of everything. You don't need to, to be messing around with uh, all that stuff. Uh, this game is long enough as is. If you want to do everything in the game, like you want to go to all the Sky Islands and you want to go to uh, Antangel, like we will be doing. Um, you've, you've got a hefty game ahead of you, you know, at least 40 hours. Uh, let's, um, let's try to take out that griffin. Because I don't want that griffin being able to head back to base. And there you go. So if you guys kind of noticed there, um, initially the griffin had the highest HP. So I set the tactics to strong. Once it got hit once, it had the lowest HP, so I put it on weak. So you can't directly inform what your units do, uh, but you can you can you know direct the battle. You can um, you can have some control. Maybe not direct control, but pretty close most of the time. Ooh, dowsing rod, okay. So that allows you to um, find buried treasure. Alright, Sammy just up here doing his thing. Uh, let's put that on weak, because we want that octopus to... Uh, to go down first. Okay, there you go. Now, I'm, I'm not... I wouldn't be super bummed if uh, some of my higher intelligence units, like uh, wizards and whatnot, ended up getting um, a little bit higher alignment, because they could turn into uh, doll mages and doll masters, which are, are perfectly uh, good and serviceable units. Nothing wrong with those. I prefer with them to uh well, I prefer them to stay as um wizards and ninjas. But um you know if their alignment gets too high they can switch to a doll master and that's that's not a, a big deal. So these initial units, you'll kinda notice they're terrible. They're just they're terrible. There's no way that you can lose um to these. I mean they've so Amazons only get one attack in the front row. So that entire group is just getting two attacks grand total, whereas we're getting, you know, what? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're getting nine versus their two. Uh, there's there's no way that they can win. Um, later up in the game, this, this changes, obviously. And, you know, the, the challenge goes up a lot, but um, early on, the stuff that's getting thrown at you is is just... it's... ridiculous. 
um, how how low powered these uh, these guys are. Okay, so hopefully we can finish off this witch before she uh, starts stunning people. Okay, well, two two stuns, all right. Maybe we can do something. Nope. So I said witches are, are really hit or, or hit or miss in this game, which they are, but that does not mean that they're um, they're useless or that. Um, they can't be used effectively, because they absolutely can. Uh, speaking of witches, I am really excited for when we get um, Deneb. Because Deneb is a great, great character. And I believe, um, intelligence-wise, she has some of the highest um, intelligence growth in the game. I know that she's uh, she's better even than Warren. And Warren's crazy. Uh, so what happens to most people is um, they'll use Warren and his alignment will just shoot straight to zero because he just he kills everything. So I like to wait a little while before I kind of start using Warren. Uh, preferably until I have at least an undead staff. Let's see what what level are we now? Okay, three. Uh, three. Okay, so five. Okay, five. That's good. That is good. Okay, so he's level. F How did he get to be level five? Beast tamer, doll mage, wizard. You know, actually, I think a Doll Mage would be really good for this point of the game. Um, I might change him to something else later, but I think for right now, nothing wrong with Doll Mage. So, you'll get to kind of see the Doll Mage in action here. At this point in the game, they're, um, they're pretty good. You got that hit-all attack right there. So his intelligence is going to be really low uh, right now because he's been a, a fighter his whole life. Uh, but he will gain a lot more intelligence as, um, as the game goes on. Way to, way to go, fellows. Miss, 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 miss. Fight it out. Yeah, for this one, it, it probably is a good idea to try to focus fire one down. Okay. Man, these guys are just... They cannot hit anything. And they can't do that much uh, damage when they do hit. So they can't do much damage, but uh, they can they can take it. I know that there are, um, there are a few treasures on this map, so. Once we kind of start um, getting some equipment put together, we'll be in a much better spot. 
So if we're not using a lot of units, as we won't be in this uh, playthrough, we can really focus our equipment into just a few uh, units, and everybody can have, you know, weapons and armor and all this other uh, goodness to make them a lot more effective. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I would like to try to get a couple of giants on our team, um, specifically fire giants. Um, I really enjoy those. They're, they're not super um, powerful in this game, but they, they are good. Okay, so we just had our first um, character death. So we will have to find a Rogean temple around here. I think there might be one, like, over here. There's one around here somewhere. Uh, we might go over there and, and find it. Uh, let's see. Let's... Okay, Simmons, why don't you go forward a little bit? Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and go down here. So you can go over to the temple. So early in the game, giants are amazing because they have three attacks in the uh, the front row. Later on, they kind of you know pitter out, but um, right now they they are pretty pretty strong. So I forgot exactly where you uh, you can recruit giants as neutral characters. I think it's somewhere around. It, it might actually be on, on this map. Um, but it is somewhere fairly early in the game. Um, I've never actually been able to recruit fire giants before, because they always... Um, in all the guides that I've read, they all say they show up on volcanoes. But I have never, ever, ever, ever seen one. And I have spent hours trying to uh, recruit these guys. So I think the way it works is they actually only show up on the uh, the actual volcanic crater itself, which is only a few pixels wide. It's, it's not very, um, very large at all. So, if you want to recruit fire giants that way, um, it, it can be a real pain. Um, if anybody out there knows a better way to recruit uh, fire giants, then uh, please let me know, because I would love to hear it. Uh, because I really, really like those units, and I never have enough of them. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see, let's move back just a little bit so he can get that healing bonus from the town. So you might notice this um, kind of slowdown effect that's happening a little bit. Uh, that happens whenever the AI is trying to figure out what to do. Um, it usually doesn't happen too much this early, but on later maps, it is just, it's the modus operandi. Um, and that's happened on every single copy I've ever owned. Um, I, I do not know why it is, but uh, it, it is. Okay. Alright, so this unit is pretty tough.
Ooh, okay. So, we will be able to get a Halloween very early, and that's great. Uh, pumpkins aren't bad, but they only get one attack. Halloweens get two, so that makes them a lot better. And we will be forgiving Deneb, so we won't be able to get the um, infinite rotten pumpkins. So it's good that we have one of those. That's great. Eurofant, alright. Don't actually want my alignment to go up, but, uh, you know, whatever works. Alright, so if you want to head on over this way... Let's go ahead and start liberating some of these. Uh, usually I would leave these to be, um, you know, so I could come back to them label, or, uh, later for my alignment. Not my alignment, uh, my reputation, to uh, raise reputation later. But I'm going to be messing around on this map a little bit. So, I will just go ahead and liberate all these. Now let's go over there. Okay. Yeah, see, that's 420 goth right now. Not very much at all. Uh, later, that's going to get way more expensive. Okay, so let's go up here. So what this will do is it'll allow us to get a little bit of money while we're uh, going around and getting these treasures and trying to get this uh, Gnomish Nugget. And getting a little bit of money will will be extremely helpful uh, this early in the game. Okay. So I think I have to take my Lord unit and go to this town. Now, I, I could use a guide and... Um, just, you know, find all the treasures and the towns and whatnot. And I might do that in the future, but um, not right now. I'd like to just kind of rely on memory. Really? I have too many? Okay. Well, a bunch of those are sun cards, and those are useless. So I will just go ahead and get that. So, Musashi, I think there's something over here. Could be wrong. Um, I know there's a city down here. Yeah, so I think you have to take your Lord unit back over here. Uh, so this is a fun little command. Um, you can, if you press, um, well, where, where I'm playing, it's the A key, but if you press the, I think maybe it's the square button on the PS1, you can um, hit waypoints. This is really good for farming random encounters. Is this temple? It's around here somewhere. Gotta go find it. Find out. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and liberate that. Liberation. Okay, we will keep that. 
rid of some of these sun cards. Okay, so I know that my lord has to go there. Um, I'm just going to put some waypoints and see if I can find some treasure because I forgot where the treasure and the temples are. Was it up here? It might have been on this island. Yep, there it is. Found it. Okay, Devil, that's a pretty good one. Um, I would recommend not being stingy with your tarot cards. Okay, Star of Heroes. Excellent. Um, you have to bring your Lord unit up here to get that. And if you're going for a high alignment um, good playthrough, it's an extremely important. Uh, for us, I don't think it's going to be very important. It might be. I'm, I'm really not sure how I'm going to go about this yet. Um, I might just tank my uh, uh, my reputation and alignment immediately and just you know, be evil. Or I might kind of you know keep it up for a while, um, go recruit some of the good characters and then tank it and get the evil characters. Um, I'm not really sure which one I'll do yet. But we will find out. Okay. Um, he can just go back to base. We don't really need him hanging out here too much. All right, uh, let's just set some waypoints. And just go look for some stuff. Um, because I know that there's stuff here. I just forgot exactly where it is. So hopefully we'll be able to find uh, something while we're getting this uh, Gnomish Nugget. Maybe I have to go, I think it was I had to go up here, or to one of these towns, and they'll tell me about the Gnomish Nugget, and then I have to go back to that town and actually pick it up. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything over here. this one either? Man, I, I figured, figured it had to be one of those. Uh, let's try this one. Now let's try these islands. Got to be something around here. Really? Uh, let's try this one. Okay, only one more. 
So as I remembered it, uh, you had to... It had to be your Lord's unit. You take it to one of these towns. They will tell you about a hidden town. You go to the hidden town, and you get the no mission nugget. Uh, okay, but apparently that is not the case. Uh, they are not telling me about the nugget. They are not giving me any information. So I might have messed that up. Fight it out. So here's here's the thing. Um, I don't really need any Hawkmen because I know I'm going to get a bunch of them from Canopus. So I think I'm just going to take this guy out uh, for a little bit of experience. Well, unless I keep missing. Okay, there you go. Very weird. Yeah, I was kind of looking forward to uh, getting that gnomish nugget. I was going to sell that for a bunch of money. Right, I just want to kind of go back up, up here and uh, just try this one more time. I wonder if there's a hidden city that we haven't found yet. Doesn't seem like it. Nope, guess not. Um, I don't know. I guess I did something out of order, uh, which does happen in this uh, game quite a bit. You can uh, you can miss out on things if you don't do them in the correct order. But that's alright. We missed out on the Gnomish Nugget. But, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. I think next time I might uh, read up on a guide to kind of refresh my memory. But we're doing pretty good. We got a little over a hundred thousand goth, and that will um, that's gonna set us up for a long time. Shouldn't have any big issues there. And we did get the Star of Heroes in case we need it. Don't think we will, but uh, you know it's good to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and have all these guys attack. No, thank you. Fight it out. Let's switch to leader. So you kind of notice that um, Usar there, he's got a distinct uh, color palette. So he doesn't look like a regular Berserker, he's a unique uh, Berserker. And Berserkers are what we want. We want 
all the berserkers, ninjas, and wizards. Because we are low alignment. Or we, uh, we attempt, or we uh, aspire to be low alignment. We want to be evil, we're just not very good at it yet. There we go. We liberated Jindark. Love those fireworks. Yeah, we definitely didn't um, get any bonus money this time because we spent all that time uh, just hanging around collecting taxes. Uh, now your reputation does go down by one point every day. Uh, past day three, I believe, if you just keep doing that. Um, you know, but you gotta do it sometimes. And I think that was a pretty decent um, way to kind of get some money early on. I would have liked to have gotten any Gnomish Nuggets, so I could have sold it. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, so... I think that's where I'm going to end it today. Uh, really quick, I'm just going to check to see if anybody got level ups or anything. I don't think we we did. Just look at all these characters that we got just hanging out in the background, not doing anything. Um, you start out with way more than you need. Uh, let's see. What I do want to do is... Uh, what's the next map? Lake Jensen? No. Uh, Sharon District. Yeah, there's some water there. We can keep the octopus around, I guess. Uh, but actually, I don't really want to. I want to take the octopus out. Well, first of all, I want to remove the fire staff. Take the octopus out, so remove the octopus, and add, uh, let's add a fighter, and a, an Amazon. Ambrose the Amazon. Uh, so let's put the Amazons in the back. Let's put the Beast Tamer up here, Fighter in the middle, Lord right there, and then let's bring a magic. That's uh, strength, okay, and plus 16, okay. Let's give the Lord the Fire Staff. And let's equip our Ring of Magic to our new doll mage, because his intelligence is terrible. I actually don't know if I'll keep him as um, a doll mage. I may switch him into something. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch him into something else. He's uh, he's just not really suited for doll majory right now. I'll make him a beast tamer. So that way he'll get more strength and he can attack from the back row. Perfecto. And our Ring of Magic can go to... Sammy. Alright, Sammy is going to be just going around Myrtle and Turtles. Okay, but uh, that's all we're going to do today. I'm going to uh, cut the video here. And when I come back next time, we'll go ahead and um, hit the Sharom District. So you guys have a good one, and I will see you next time.